Well, hi, and welcome to my coaching story. I'm Brad Sugars, the chairman and founder at Action Coach. And every week we get to interview another coach and find out what got them into coaching and what they love about it and why coaching works. Today, we're joined by Kevin Weir. Howdy, Kevin. Hi, Brad. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you, my friend. Now, before we get into doing of the coaching, what got you into coaching and, and what is it about coaching that keeps you doing it? What do you love about it? Well, that's an interesting story, Brad. So um, I went through a lot of career changes in my life. And in 1997, I actually got coached uh, by a company called Bernard Halding Associates for career change. And my advisor basically had said, you could do this job. Well, surprise, one day he left yeah. and I interviewed for the job and I got it. And so my <laughs> five years were doing this career coaching gig. Uh -huh. But here was an interesting thing, Brad, is that over time, some of my clients would in the middle of the coaching engagement say, you know, what, Kevin, I don't think I want to change careers. I want to buy a business or start a business. And that was very intriguing. And I had so much more success with those clients. Several of them said, you know, you really should do this whole business coaching thing full time. And after five years, uh, I was like, you know what, maybe they're right. And I went out and had thinking, well, I could either do it on my own or could buy a franchise. And so I found Action Coach. And, uh, you know, as Victor Kayan once said, I was so impressed. I bought the company and <laughs> bought the franchise. And that was in 2002. And I have not looked back. You know, when you look at career coaching and then moving into business coaching, it's funny that so many people would, you know, told you, you should be helping in business, you should be doing this. So uh, what keeps you coaching? What is it you love about doing it every day? Because, you know, it's a lot of years now. So yeah. 19 years in the career coaching, 24 overall. What keeps me doing this is the impact that I have in people's lives. It's one of the most, it's amazing what you can do for a person to change not only their business, but change their life. I have actually had clients in tears with me, either in my office or on the phone, saying, I could never have done this without you, Kevin. Yeah. I had one client, we helped them sell their business. It was their entire retirement. And the wife was sobbing on the phone saying, you have changed our lives in ways you could never have imagined. It was just to me, it still gives mm. me goosebumps thinking about those things on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard for some people to really fathom, Kevin, just how much it's not just the business that we coach. Yeah. You know, that, exactly human, right. that human side is massive. Yeah. And that's the whole thing is that coaching is about the success in the business, but it's also about the success of the person because when the person becomes better, they can apply it to the business and they can get massive results mm. in so many areas. And so coaching is not only about implementing strategies and putting techniques into place, but it's about that personal development, that mm. changing the person to become the person they need to become in order to achieve the dreams they always have had. Yeah. You know, with that much time under your belt, buddy, there must be one or two favorite stories of clients and that change. Yeah. One of my favorite ones is I worked with a roofer and he was a referral for my uh, CPA alliance. And at the time when he started with me, he was doing 300,000 in revenue, no profits and 50,000 in debt <clears throat> to the IRS. Wow. Two and a half years later, he is doing 3.5 million revenue 700,000 net profit on an annual basis and no debt. And he got the business to run without him. And he said, Kevin, this is my last coaching session. This is runs by itself. I am moving to Arizona to take care of my mom and dad. One of the proudest moments of my life. You know, those sorts of stories. And I don't know how to say this other than we see that on a fairly regular basis, that level of success. How do you talk to someone that, I don't know, they Maybe they don't believe that can happen for them or they don't think it can happen for them. Well, in the big, when I talk with people like that and they hear stories like that, or my current client who's virtually doubled her business the past 10 months and now has went from zero profits to 10,000 a month. And people go there and says, well, that's too much work, Kevin. And one of the things I said is that you have to change the way you're thinking 
It's about leveraging so that you are doing less of the work and systems and peoples and processes do more of the work. Mm. And so, so, so many times we think of, well, gee, Kevin, you must have had them working 16 hour days, uh, weeks and months on end. It's like, no, it's actually just the polar opposite. I've gotten them to work the le less hours and put in more systems and employees so that they can live the life they've always wanted to live. Yeah. It's amazing how uh, business owners do struggle with that fact that they can work less and make more. But let's flip that over for a second and talk about some of the programs that you run to get people to do that. Now, you have obviously one-to-one -one coaching where you yes. work with the mid to larger size companies and some small business, but you also have yeah. group programs. Why yeah. do you do the group programs and how do they work? Well, the group programs are really, in, uh, in essence, uh, an entry portal. One of my new clients... Uh, is into mentor, uh, is in the mentor club, and she couldn't afford one to one, but she really wants to do some level of coaching, and this is a perfect entry point. I've had some people go straight into uh, growth club, which is obviously our uh, ninety day planning sessions, and I also have a concept called a starter uh, starter club, which is if you are a small business and you haven't even started the business yet, for two hundred bucks a month. You get, it's no, it's not fancy coaching, but it's enough to get you started rather than just flailing around and filling out forms. And then what do I do now once I've opened the business? Yeah, it's interesting though, some of your clients who started out in your very, the small businesses, they're now big businesses and on your one-to-one -one coaching. That must yeah. be pretty cool to see them progress it, and grow to become a big business, I guess. It really is because, I mean, I've had clients that start off, I mean, literally start off and hit million dollars in revenue, 100,000 net profits. And yeah, it takes some time. But here's the whole thing is that they have, what, when you have a great start in business, the acceleration factor is just multiplied by going up the ladder from, say, it's, you know, from starter club into mentor club along with growth club and into some uh -huh. little one-on-one -on -one coaching, imagine there's so many clients that I have helped over the years get that kind of acceleration because they've had a great start. Yeah, yeah. So think about uh, the community aspect then, because a lot of your clients say they get a lot of value out of meeting other business owners. Why do you do that? And, and what's the, what's I guess the stories behind that or the benefits of that? Well, the community is, but here's the thing. Business owners struggle with developing trust with other business owners because they're feeling it's a competitiveness or, gee, you know, you don't have my back, I have yours. When you get clients into, say, a growth club where they know each other, they consistently come, they have the same value systems that they're working with me, there's a deep level of trust that happens. I mean, I have my... Um, my web development company helping my uh, some of my clients. I mean, and there's other trade-offs that go on. I've got my my bakery who helps my uh, owner of multiple coffee shops. It's it's amazing how when people develop a level of trust in a common environment where they all want to excel, they all want to change, they all want to grow that level of community seals the deal with so many uh, of these clients who work together. I always have a, a phrase that I've told my clients. I said, clients do business with other clients because yeah. there is that trust relationship there yeah. through coaching. I think also some of them make the real comment about how they feel less lonely because of working with you and, and, and I guess that community. What, what happens there? How does that work? Well, I think it's, it's the whole idea is that they realize that they're not alone. I've had so many clients over the years when I actually start coaching them and they start meeting other clients, they realize most people have the same challenges. And so they feel that, hey, I can open myself up to my coach because my coach isn't mm. in a judgmental position. They, she truly wants to help. And then that seals the deal with the other clients but when they talk about each other, it's like, oh, yeah, you're dealing with that person, this issue. I'm Got dealing it. with that issue. And there's such a commonality because everybody thinks that they're the only ones that are dealing with issue X, Y, and Z, when in all reality, they almost always are dealing with the same issues. Yeah. 
So, but let's let's look at that then from the other side. Your business, because you're also building a business the same yeah. as them. You're going through the same things they do. You you have to follow the same systems. Obviously, the action coach procedures. Oh. <laughs> With that in mind, you use the community here to learn from as well. How does that benefit you, and how does it then benefit your clients? Well, I think that the community with Action Coach is so powerful. I've been doing this, Brad, for 19 years. Why? Because the power of the community is there. It helps me develop me. If I was all by myself, Brad, do you think I could have gotten or been successful for this long in doing what I love doing by myself? No, I would have burnt out many years ago. So the power of the community is not only about you know, mutual knowledge, mutual ideas, but there's a camaraderie that we all have together mm -hmm. that we are in the same boat. We are going forward. And what I love, Brad, is a lot of people recognize me as a, as, as a long-term person in this company. It's amazing how many of them ask me for advice, just like when I started way back in 2002, where I was picking the brain of the senior coaches. And now giving back to me, it feels really great about being a part of the community and therefore, I'm not just a lonely coach on an island. I think so many coaches are out there like that. Yeah, I, I love the fact that, you know, we're a community of thousands of coaches and every one of us at our heart center loves to help other people. And so when you reach out or when someone reaches out to you, because in the beginning, that was that's where you were. But now you're one of those senior coaches that people reach out to for help and for, for all of those things. That must feel pretty good to be in that position. Oh, it feels great because I guess here's the whole thing, Brad. We are all coaches. Mm. Our desire is to give of ourselves to others. And when I can accomplish that both professionally with my client and with other coaches, it's like a double bonus. And mm. it's something that to me, I roll out of bed every single morning, loving what I do and can't wait to get here to see clients and to help other coaches. So take me through then, because your coaching story started with what got you into coaching. Where is the future for you? What's the future well, for your firm look like? I'm actually got a huge future. Uh, future. I've actually created a 2032 vision for my business where I've got multiple locations. I've got multiple business development managers in local areas here within Eastern Washington. And, and I, it's basically that vision excites me. And when I show that vision to others, it gets them excited that say, wow, you're mm -hmm. looking to go that big. And it's like, yeah, you know, this is something I love doing. And I've got that big vision of exactly how I've laid it out. And it inspires my clients to go, well, gee, if Kevin's vision is that big, maybe I should look at my vision too. Yeah. You know, it's, it's such a fun thing to be an example to our clients as well. I think that's a big part of it that they see you growing the same way that they have to grow. They see you learning and building your business in the same way. And I think that's a, a really unique uh, thing of our industry, I guess, is that we get to participate on both sides of that. Kevin, uh, on behalf of your clients, I want to say thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, there's so many of them that are raving fans and love what you do. Uh, we here at Action Coach really appreciate the work you're doing to help the business owners in your marketplace. So thanks for your time and thanks for sharing here on My Coaching Story. Well, thank you so much, Brad, for your time. And this is a great experience.